Strategia digitale. Idee, novità e consigli per imprenditori e professionisti appassionati di web marketing e business online. E business online. A cura di Giulio Gaudiano. Ben trovati da Giulio Gaudiano e benvenuti in una nuova puntata di Strategia Digitale. Siamo nel bel mezzo di Brighton SEO, anzi ormai ragazzi il sole sta cominciando a scendere qui sul mare, la conferenza sta volgendo alla, alla fine, ma non finiscono le interviste interessanti perché ho avuto il piacere di pranzare con una persona molto molto interessante esperta di un campo specifico che ancora non vi svelo oh, vabbè, dai ve lo dico ottimizzazione App Store Optimization ottimizzazione per la vendita su App Store e è qui per anzi ha fatto già un training quindi era qui a Brighton per fare il training al, una training session il giorno prima della conferenza e viene qui da, sono dieci volte che partecipa a questa conferenza quindi direi che di esperienza ne ha parecchia sulle spalle e volevo condividere la sua esperienza con voi portare in casa quello che ci può insegnare faremo una chiacchierata in inglese sono sicuro che non sarà un problema per voi spero anche di poter produrre a breve una traduzione comunque sarà molto comprensibile anche perché la nostra ospite è di origine ispanica vive in Spagna quindi sarà un inglese comprensibilissimo prima di entrare nel vivo voglio ricordarvi che strategiadigitale.info è il luogo dove mandare i vostri amici se stanno cercando sono in cerca di una strategia digitale stanno lì come diogene con il lanternino che non ci capiscono niente in cosa nelle opportunità cosa possono fare con questi nuovi media come possono muovere il loro business e il loro marketing in quest'era digitale bene noi tutti i giorni ne parliamo qui su strategia digitale quindi lì trovano i link per iscriversi il canale diretto per fare delle domande ragazzi approfittatene mandatemi le vostre domande su telegram.me slash giulio gaudiano ma ora bando alle ciance e è arrivato il momento di scoprire la nostra ospite misteriosa e da apprendere da lei come fare App Store Optimization. Ciao Paredes, welcome, how are you? I'm, I'm fine, thank you. How are you, Giulio? Very good, very good. Today was a great day. Ciao is Global Head of SEO and AS o ad como digital so spend some words explaining us what is actually this ASO so ASO ASO is an acronym for App Store Optimization so basically what we want is to get our apps positioned in the app stores in the top places and to maximize the visibility of all uh, our native apps Okay, this is quite interesting because the, the App Store is like, for, for me and for many other people, it's like a black box. So you publish <laughs> your app. I got two apps for my podcast, Strategia Digitale, okay. one for iOS uh, App Store and the other one for Google Play App Store. But I just publish the app and for, forget about it. So uh, uh, give us some advices. How the ranking, the positioning... On, in the App Store actually work? Okay, so basically you shouldn't publish and forget about your app. What you have to do is to not only to launch the app and do the optimization one-off, but you also need to review your app. Uh, let's say your App Store optimization from time to time. So okay, review, review the app means uh, to the update the software. Yeah, you need okay. to, you need n not only to update the, the software, you need to update a specific fields in the App Store card. So you need to review your title, you need to review your description, uh, both for the iOS as well as for Google Play. You need to update your um, short description in Google Play and your keywords field in iOS. I okay. saw that many apps integrates in from time to time integrates the comments or reviews inside the description of the app or have <laughs> very long really huge description with a lot of explanation different okay. terms is that for keywords optimization Well, it's more to see the feedback rather than the keywords optimization, okay? Of course, there would be keywords within the reviews, but uh, at the end of the day, what the user is going to see is your description. Your description needs to be appealing. It needs to be enticing. So it's better that your description is more 
uh, more like a call to action, more dynamic, more bullet points rather than a huge, enormous description. Okay, so that is a good tip. Bullet point yeah. in the description. Yeah. And uh, what about the title? Is uh, integrating the a short description in the title a smart move, like uh, LinkedIn professional networking app? Is that a smart move or the, um, better to have a brand-based um, communication strategy? No, uh, not just the brand. You need to include your keywords there. So if there is a character limit of thir 30 characters, including spaces in Google Play and 50 characters, including spaces in iOS, what you need to do is to maximize that title. Okay, so include keywords as well as your brand uh, within the title. Okay, of course, in a more, let's say, marketing Indian way. Okay. okay. What is, in your opinion, the most important meta element in the um, in the app? Um, in, well, okay. in the app, in yeah. the in yeah. the app store car. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the description, the screenshots, the short description. Okay. What is the most The Use first one, engaging yeah. Element. The first one is the title, indeed. Okay. Uh, then there are other elements that vary according to uh, the app store that we are talking about. Okay. But the title is the most important one. Okay. And then uh, you should also have a look at your visuals. And let's say the third one would be the keywords field for iOS, and then the short description for Google Play. Okay. But all, all these elements, okay, the priority of them, especially not the first one, but for the second and the third, this changes, it's dynamic, okay? So uh, let's say, okay, uh, it's a guideline, okay? Okay, let's talk about rating. How okay. important is the rating for the App Store positioning? Okay, well, obviously, the higher the better. And you should always say that having at least a four star review at least okay nothing less than that and something that you need to bear in mind is going from three to four star it's less difficult than going from four to five okay the volume of ratings that you need is not the same okay it has to be much bigger and any advice to increase the number of re good reviews well There are some strategies that, uh, that you can do, okay, maybe with some push notifications. So you could have, like, uh, within the app, uh, when you are on a certain screen, have a message so the users are writing your app. Users that have already used your app, some uh, that they have gone through some screens already. Yeah, I mean, because when I, when I use the app and I'm trying to use it and I'm in a rush, and I click and pop up a message. Uh, <laughs> do you like this app? Mm, you can rate it on the App Store. I always say no, don't, don't say me, to me it again. Okay. So uh, better to use the interaction, mm, for example, uh, through email than the interaction inside app or is yeah, the... Yeah, but it's usually more effective once you are inside the app. Okay. But uh, I think what... Uh, needs to be chosen is the right screen to show this type of message okay if it's very early at the beginning or if the user hasn't used the app that okay. much he or she is not gonna rate it show okay? it in the right spot yeah it's in the right spot for sure and what about the um, traffic uh, sources i okay. mean Uh, I can I can attract people just from inside the App Store, or there is any advice to uh, increase my positioning outside the App Store on the search engine, for example, for example, on okay. Google. Okay, so not only the App Store uh, could be your main traffic source, okay, in organic acquisition, but also. The, the search engines, okay, whether the mobile or, or desktop search engines. In fact, when you go to, to the Google Play uh, developer console and you get to the user acquisition channels, okay, you will see one source, which is the Google one, okay? Uh -huh. So uh, for that, you need to have your app index and you can get quite a bit of traffic there, but also uh, maximize the, the traffic that comes from 
your actual website, you should have at least at least a microsite that explains what your web okay, that app, is uh, wha what your app is about. Okay, and you can drive traffic from there. That is okay, very interesting. Many apps doesn't have any website. So exactly. Very interesting. What about the um, giving exposition to the positive reviews on the website? W what are the main elements to include in this mini website? Well, uh, you could include some positive reviews, but what I would do as well instead of that is to promote the positive reviews in your social media accounts. If you have a Facebook page or a Twitter page, I think it makes more sense to get the positive reviews there because you can maximize your exposure and your how, reach at the end of the day. How works when you update the, the app? The review counts uh, starts again, starts over from zero or you... Uh, with a new version, yes. So, so then you would get... Basically, you would get an average rating overall, okay, but there would also be a rating per version release, per app version release. Okay, that is very... Well, um, if someone wants to contact you, contact your company, your company offer uh, co consultancy and services in this field? Yes, we offer consultancy services both uh, for ASO as well as for paid performance. Okay, fantastic. Many thanks, Charo, for sharing with us and have a great day. Thank you very much. Bye. Siamo arrivati alla fine della nostra puntata, un sacco di informazioni utili su come ottimizzare il posizionamento della nostra app e personalmente ne approfitterò subito, andrò subito a riguardare la description e il titolo della app di strategia digitale, può essere veramente un'occasione buona per migliorare questo posizionamento e ragazzi perché no, visto che state in ascolto facciamo un esperimento, andate a fare una bella review positiva sulla app di strategia digitale la trovate su google play store sull'app store di, di iphone quindi potete trovarla dovunque fate sapere che cosa ne pensate di questa app di questo podcast che ha l'obiettivo di aiutarvi a fare business e marketing nel mondo digitale da parte mia voglio ringraziare tutti i produttori che tramite il nostro crowdfunding sostengono questo podcast se vuoi anche tu diventare un produttore vai su youmediaweb.com slash finanze non mi resta altro in questa bellissima Brighton illuminata dal sole che sta quasi tramontando che salutare Sara Veltre e ringraziarla perché è la cuore autrice del programma, il nostro fonico Costanza Mineo, radio speaker.it, curatore del nostro sound design. Grazie mille e ci vediamo online. Strategia digitale. Idee, novità e consigli per imprenditori e professionisti appassionati di web marketing e business online. E business online. A cura di Giulio Gaudiano.